All right, so last week we brought you the story of VOA's Rase Poch, who was recently on a reporting trip in his native Cambodia. A very personal story there. Now this week we focus on another major part of his coverage, the visit by U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama. And Michelle Obama was in Cambodia to launch Let Girls Learn, an initiative to help keep millions of girls worldwide in schools. Cambodia is one of the 11 countries targeted in the program's first year. Take a look. When girls get educated, when they learn to read and write and think, that gives them the tools to speak up and to talk about injustice and to demand equal treatment. It helps them participate in the political life of their country. So, Rose, you went to your home country to cover First Lady Michelle Obama's visit. Talk to us about the response she got. Oh, it's fantastic because this is uh, actually history in the making because this is the first time that a uh, First Lady is uh, in the White House visiting Cambodia. Uh, Jacqueline Kennedy did that before but went after she left the White House. So this is historic uh, for, for Cambodia. And a bit of a historic moment for you too, covering it as a reporter. What was that like? Uh, in terms of security, it was extremely, extremely tight because her trip happened right after uh, she went to Japan. Uh, she was on the way, she went to Japan and then on the way to Cambodia. And uh, at the time, there was a phone call threat to uh, the ambassador uh, um, in Japan about, you know, somebody tried to harm her, to hurt her. So right after that, she was going to Cambodia. So as you can imagine, the security was extremely tight. I, I covered uh, President Obama's trip to Cambodia in 2012. It wasn't like that. It's totally different. Wow. So you had an opportunity, a moment when you were in the same classroom with her, but you talk about this tight security and these restrictions. So how much access did you really have? Well, we were in the same classroom uh, with her. We can see her. Uh, but uh, if you turn around, you see all the, uh, the, the Secret Service uh, personnel, uh, both the, from the U.S. and from Cambodia. So when you talk to your fellow Cambodians and the people who are, who are living there about what this moment meant for them to see the U.S. First Lady in their land, what did they tell you? They, they are excited um, more than that about more than just the first lady's presence in Cambodia. They, they were excited about the program that she promotes. Hung Chu Kek, the president of the local rights group Likato, expressed optimism after joining a roundtable discussion with Mrs. Obama on Saturday. The U.S. First Lady's visit is very good not just for our country, but for the world, as I believe it encourages everyone to pay attention to education, especially girls' education. I think the president's Let Girls Learn program has a lot of positive impacts. Although we might not see them immediately, I'm confident in the future we will. In Cambodia, uh, girls traditionally uh, went to school, go to school for a few years, and then they had to help out with the family, uh, making a living. So that part is more exciting to the Cambodian people. Uh, but at the same time, they, they're also excited. They, 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 a lot of people, um, when the motorcade went by, they, they stop and they wave. A lot of people take pictures. Um, they are excited. Yeah, so what kind of uh, response then within sort of the Cambodian government has her education initiative gotten? Are there a lot more efforts going on now to educate girls? Um, as I understand that the program has partnered, you know, the U.S. has partnered with Cambodia as well as 11 other countries uh, in, around the world that, that are part of the Let Girls Learn. So it's not an uh, effort of the U.S. only. Um, this is helping Cambodia and, and as the President Obama um, mentioned in his speech when he launched the program, this program helped Cambodia and in turn it helped the world also, it helped the community that the girls live in. And, uh, but one point that the uh, Cambodian Prime Minister, he criticized the First Lady afterwards. He criticized mm. uh, her that the uh, effort, uh, that the U.S. did not fund uh, the uh, program completely. But uh, as a matter of fact, the, Cambo the U.S. Embassy in, in Cambodia uh, mentioned that um, the U.S. already gave $40 million to that program. So it's, it's not uh, that the U.S. not helping. 